land of Zhou, was a vassal state of the Shang dynasty. A powerful leader of the Zhou named, Wen Wang, began to plan to overthrow the Shang dynasty. It took many years, but finally Wen Wang's son, Wu Wang led an army across the Yellow River, to defeat the king of the Shang dynasty. King Wu, established a new dynasty in the history pages of China, the Zhou dynasty. King Wu's ancestral name was Ji Fa. He was the second son of King Wen of Zhou and Queen Taisai. Zhou, one of the vassal states of the Shang dynasty, kept developing under the reign of Ji Chang's father. He defeated and annexed many nearby kingdoms, which made the king of Shang feel threatened. Hence the king tricked and imprisoned his father, who passed away later during captivity. Afterward, Ji Chang inherited the title, and became the next lord of Zhou, and started to prepare for vengeance. Ji Chang worked hardly to flourish the Zhou state, through good policies, that encouraged agriculture and economy and military activities, and political alliances that extended the territory. Besides, he met and obtained support from Zhang Shang, a brilliant strategist, politician, and a great general. Years later, the current king of Shang, Di Xin noticed Ji Chang's achievements, and summoned him to explain Zhou's military activities, that annexed other kingdoms. Ji Chang had no choice but to come, and soon was imprisoned by the king Di Xin. During this captive period, Ji Chang wrote, I Ching, or the Book of Changes. Later, Ji Chang's sons, and Zhang Shang paid plenty of treasures and beautiful women to Di Xin, to show their eternal loyalty to the king, who was satisfied and released Ji Chang soon. Ji Chang went home, kept working on developing the Zhou state. He prepared his army, and allying with other lords conquered few smaller states, which were loyal to Shang, slowly weakening Shang's allies. However, Ji Chang died, and his son Ji Fa inherited the title as the next lord of Zhou. Ji Fa honored his father, King Wen. Ji Fa continued to respect Zhang Shang, as the important minister, and getting ready to fight against the king. Di Xin paid little attention to these, as he viewed himself as the rightful ruler of China, a position appointed by the heavens. Chinese civilians greatly supported Ji Fa rebellion. In legend, Di Xin initially had been a good ruler, but after he married Di Ji, he became a ruthless ruler. With Zhang as the strategist, King Ji Fa led an army of about 50,000. Di Xin was at war in the east, but he still had about 530,000 men to defend the capital city of Yin. But to further secure his victory, he gave weapons to 170,000 slaves to protect the capital. These slaves did not fight for the corrupt Chang dynasty, and defected to the Zhou army instead. When engaged, many Shang soldiers did not fight, and held their spears upside down, as a sign that they no longer wanted to fight for the corrupt Shang. Some Shang soldiers joined the Zhou outright. Still, many loyal Shang troops fought on, and a very bloody battle followed. The Zhou troops were much better trained, and their morale was high. In one of the chariots, King Wu broke through the Shang's defense line. Di Xin was forced to flee to his palace, and the remaining Shang troops fell into further chaos. The Zhou were victorious, and showed little mercy to the defeated Shang. After the battle, Di Xin adorned himself with many valuable jewels, then lit a fire and burned himself to death in his palace, on the Deer Terrace Pavilion. King Wu killed Di Ji, after he found her, and Shang officials were released without a charge, with some later working as Zhou officials. The Battle of Muye, marked the end of Shang Dynasty, and the beginning of the Zhou Dynasty. King Wu the name means, Marshal, followed his victory, by establishing many feudal states under his sixteen younger brothers, and clans allied by marriage. He also established a more centralized political management system, which granted the king more powers, and strengthened the consolidation of the whole kingdom. A few years later, King Wu passed the throne to his first son, King Cheng of Zhou, and asked his younger brother to assist the new king. King Wu is considered one of the great heroes of China, together with Yellow Emperor, and Yu the Great.